great. I just noticed these threads are fucking destroyed. Son of a bitch, this is going to slow me down. All right, the Jeep XJ has this adjustment for caster. Now these are readily available, but I don't have the time to fucking order this. So these bolts look like they're commercially available. And a pressed in fit right there. So I'm going to try to drive these out and just replace these bolts. The way a lug nut bolt fits in, it looks like how that is. Let's give it a try. All right, square, pressed fit. If I can get this over at the hardware store, we're in business getting this back together today.
Well, not the perfect replacement. That's going to have to work. You got time to order them. Boy, don't worry about doing any damage. You can always get a guy to weld one of these in for you. I'm not good enough to do something like that. When you're at the grocery store and the cart, the wheel, the caster s positions itself to go back forward, that's what this is all about.
and I'm gonna put this right where it was before that is lined up I'm really thinking you should just take a file and knock a little bit off of that bushing It's a miracle. More antifreeze than you've ever used in your life for this application. All right, so caster effects, straight line stability. This thing had a wobble in it. Positive caster is when lower ball joint is forward so I'm gonna put it where it was before this fucking thing's 30 years old I'm not lifting it and if I'm wrong I'll just come and adjust it again our TV didn't hold on that one The next guy is going to be pissed. What next guy? No one's going to fucking do this again. It's coming in. Now that's where it was out of the factory. And that's where I'm gonna put it. And that's the end of that. All right, there's the finished product. You can get them online for about 17 bucks. Replacing all four of those bolts was about six bucks. So. Time is what's important to me on this. So caster is all about straightening the wheel out. And this didn't have a shim in it, so I'm going to put it back exactly the way I found it.
So there's how the caster is adjusted. Most likely there was shims that you could buy. You'd stick that under there, tighten that down. Now it gives you a more positive caster pushing the lower ball joint out. And I'm sure right there at the factory. Is a positive caster. I was looking around, I don't see any shims anymore available. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. We'll put it right back to where this was. I don't think this is causing any vibration issues. So my split rim tire tool, I think, is the best tool yet for this spreading. Look at that. Almost broke my fucking nose. It's amazing to me how the guys in the shop, this shit just fucking goes right together for them. What do they got going on that I don't? Jesus. I mean, you could take a file and knock a little bit of thousandths of an inch off of that and get it right in there. But that would be too easy. This shit's got to fit in there. All right, you're going to definitely need some drifts to get this in, the bolt lined up. And this worked really well. I'm sure you have one of these in your toolbox, but if you put this in the back will hold that bolt hole lined up and then you can pry with that one good luck if things ain't working out for you a bigger pry bar sometimes is the solution
If there was ever an application in your entire life where you want to use never sees, this is it. Ah, crap. Fuck. All right, the bolt's in. I wish I could say that was routine, but it wasn't. On the Jeep XJ, caster is adjusted by adding or removing shims right here. And that lengthens or shortens this lower control arm. I don't think this allows you to go negative unless you were to weld something in here. Out of the factory, that's set without a shim at the correct caster.
you've been to the grocery store before and got a cart so you already know what caster is same thing on this jeep So caster has to be positive for the self-straightening feature to even work and to do that the lower ball joint has to be ahead of the true vertical which is spindle to the ground so once again that angle of caster is adjusted by shimming or removing shims and pushing this out lower ball joint has to be in front of the vertical plane now look I'm not a scientist but that's how caster works <laughs> 